Death is a doorway. Death is a doorway. And I'm the doorman. <laughs> 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 Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. Jazz hands. I am Spencer Cardia. I'm a corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. Oh, I love me some corn on the cob. But it needs to have butter, salt, and black pepper. Yeah. And this here is Frank. He got a little Patagonia on. He bundling up in these cold late October days. Because that's what it is. It's yeah. a late October day. Yeah. It is spooky. It's the week of Halloween. 27th? Yeah. It's 27th. It's the week of Halloween. It's Wednesday, guys. How have you been? Last time we saw you was last week. Feels like a lifetime ago. A lifetime. A lifetime. But today is, we're celebrating a week of Halloween, the devil's okay. holiday. Um, it's yeah. A, it's really like when we started um, last yeah, year. Yeah, it is. Wow. It's just been a whole year talking to you guys and a whole year of you talking to us. It's been a whole year of conversation. Yes. And love and life, celebrating life, mourning death. Yeah. And everything that comes in between. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, yeah. Have, have we missed anything? Has anything special happened since we last spoke to these fine people? There's a whole bunch of ships um, waiting at the port to come through. So if you're waiting for your stuff, that's the reason why. Yeah. Here there's, um, there's a backlog in, um, what do they call it? The supply chain. Yes. The supply chain. Is that what's making the gas prices go way up? I don't know about those gas prices. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a real crime. I saw this one thing that said, uh, it was like a meme. It was like, um, why you like, why are you all always worried about gas prices? The F am I going to do? Not buy gas? And I kind of felt that. You know, we're always yeah. complaining about gas prices, but it's like, you know, like people, <clears throat> people talk and complain about the weather, but- that affects what you're going to do in the day. Does gas prices really affect anything? Yeah, because we, we, we have so much money that doesn't change. So that's your paycheck. And then you're like, okay, this is for gas. This is for food. This is for my bills. And then when the gas man wants a little bit more, you're like, ah, now the, I can't get my the Skittles. What are you going to do? Not get gas? Um, Yeah, you might, might, might have to quit your job and get a walkable... Wow. Something. Oh, it'll be that bad. Yeah. <laughs> 30, 30 cent rise in gas. You're on a bike. I, don't I do know. think it'll be nice because, you Carpool. know, you know, me and the electric cars. Gas prices go high. People are going to next car. Hmm. I might get the old, I don't know, electric cars. I think there's so many choices. Yeah. I was, that's what I was trying. I wasn't like, I didn't want to say Tesla because then someone would look at me and be like, yeah. Oh, is that what I'm going to do? Yeah. I'm going to turn in my Honda Accord and get a Tesla. Yeah. Only reason get I a Honda Electric. I have a Honda Accord. Are there any, are there any Honda Electrics? I'm sure. Yeah. Um. Today is National Mentoring Day. National, like oh wow, <laughs> like oh wow. Um, I mentor you. <laughs> so that's um. So it's my day. I'm your mentee. <clears throat> yeah. So you're a mento. I'm a memento. Mm-hmm. Me- National Mentoring, mentoring day. day. Mentoring's important. Yes. Do you ever think you should mentor somebody? Um. Well, like you'd have to feel confident about being mentoring someone, right? I feel confident about mentoring. I feel, I feel like I should be mentoring more people than I currently am. How do you know that you're not? Because through this, they can be. Oh. They could be too shy to approach you, but they you could be mentoring them. I'm not wearing a hat today, and I'm planning on getting a haircut tomorrow, and I feel a little disheveled looking. No. Like I just rolled in with Frank. I would, I would, um, I would quiz you on. Um, Go for it. I, you're not going to know it is at all. I just know it already. I'll start with the easy one. David was a mentor to who? David was a mentor to who? Yeah. His son Solomon. Yes. Oh, okay. Oof. Oof. Got My that. Bible is on par, even on a Wednesday. I got that one, but I don't. Like I said, Abraham. Was but a, who was? David's mentor. I don't know. You got to know this. But I, I, I talk about these stories all the time. Okay. And okay. Spoiler alert. He turned out to turn against David. He was. Um, oh, gosh. They fought in the in the war. They fought. What's his first letter? King. King Herod. No. King, King Herod is the Jesus. Uh, King Tut. 
No. Uh, S. King. The name comes up again in the Bible. Of course it does. But then when it comes up again in the New Testament, that one, that their name changes. Oh my gosh. So much happening. What's the second letter of the first name? A. S-A? King Sam? <laughs> King Saul. Saul! I know what? that. Better call Saul. <laughs> yeah. I actually never watched that show. You know what's funny? I tried. I didn't like it. Breaking Bad. I watched um, the entire thing. Loved it. Just like a lot of people loved it. Uh, when the final season was out, um, uh, it was week to week. It wasn't, you know, like we're get, we get so, uh, what's the word when you get used to something and then you expect it? Spoiled. <laughs> we get so uh, spoiled with Netflix and stuff of just mm-hmm. binge watching full series at a time. This was, you know, still week by week. And I remember it was, they came out on Thursdays. And it was the Thursday of the finale. They pushed it back a week. And that alone made me not watch the last. I watched every single episode of all of Breaking Bad besides the last episode. Really? Have, you, I, have you heard about it? Kind of. I think like, he does. Do you, do you think you missed out or you don't even care? I, at the time, I remember I was angry that I had to wait another week. Right. And so I kind of was like, you know what? I don't care. Right. I don't care how the show ends. And then too much time passed. So even if I watched it now, it would mean nothing. I kind of hate the last episodes of any show. Like yeah. Thirty Rock, are you still watching that? Uh, yeah, you're I mean, not gonna uh, you're not gonna care about the last episode because you're having someone else end something for you that you might not agree with. Oh, um, yeah, Game of Thrones kind of sucked. Um, what else? That's all. I, that's all I know. It was the only shows I know. In the old days, it was I think bigger fanfare, like like Seinfeld and um Dallas. I think Dallas was the one that started it was all a dream or something. How about uh what was the one that people hated? Sopranos? The Sopranos, I believe. Was yeah. that where it just went to a black screen? Yeah, I think mm. you're right. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's so much pressure that they do a lot and then they Yeah, I I definitely do think there's like a pressure to it and I think um you know, some of the it's like it's so hard cuz you have two options. Um Keep the show going forever, and then you get a lost situation where you'll get people to fall off gradually, or end it too quick, and then have people being like, right. "Well, why did you do it that quick?" And like with Game of Thrones, it, yeah. it, it felt so rushed to the right. end, and it was like, um, you know, there's two sides to everything. It's like, should they have just kept going? Personally, I think yes, mm-hmm. maybe just for a few more seasons. But also, the question is, when someone loves the show so much, is there ever a perfect ending where you are like? Sit no, down and say, there's not. I, I am happy that the show's over. There's not. I feel like I don't know. I don't know why I keep thinking that, like I watched a show that just had a great ending. Oh, really? But yeah, like you know, you just felt all warm and fuzzy inside. I hate them. I hate them all. Shit's Creek. It's like because you're just mad it's ending, and then you're like, oh, you're leaving and then me you with start, that. Yeah, then you start asking, like, because well, what about what about right? You might not like an episode, but you always have hope that something's going to turn the next week yeah but then they're like no we're never coming back and we're leaving you like that it's almost like when someone dies right you know so maybe it's just an exercise in it's acceptance. actually in- yeah it's interesting because it, it makes you th- let's talk about death on this christian podcast why not we're talking about it people lose someone too quick but then you have to ask yourself when isn't it too quick right like how often do we see death in life and say that was about the right time. Or, ah, you know what? All the tie, all, everything was tied up. All loose ends. Never. Never. Mm-hmm. And and so, if anything, there ne- there should be an acceptance that there is no right way to end things. But you just need to be happy with the time you had. Like with Game of Thrones, was I happy the way it ended? No, but I never would be. And it's taken out of our hands. We don't have to decide when. Uh, well, obviously, if you were creator of a sitcom, you would be deciding. But in death, it's yeah, it's taken out of our hands. They they die when it's time for them to die. Death is a doorway. Death is a doorway. And I'm the doorman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know if you know the other ones. Abraham was a mentor to. <clears throat> Abraham was a mentor to Isaac. Oh, my gosh. You do know them. I, I read the more, Bible. I have more faith in you. Cover to cover. Don't get too happy. There's there's three more, and I don't know because I'm not familiar. Jacob is a, me, was a mentor to. Jacob was a mentor to. 
Ah, uh, was it an Egyptian? No, I think. Wait, Jacob. Is that Jacob in the coat of many colors? Yeah, I get. J- that's Joseph. Jacob was a mentor to Joseph. Oh, so that's that's where I was getting confused. Okay. Jacob was Joseph's father. Okay. Jacob was a mentor. Yeah, Jacob. Yeah. Jacob was the father of Joseph. Yeah. Ah. ah! You were you were way closer than I would ever have been. Moses was a mentor to. Moses was a mentor too. I'm guessing a lot of people. Ah, not his brother, right? Aaron. Joshua. Joshua. Joshua fought the Battle of Jericho, and the last one I would I again right, I'm confident again, I'm gonna get this last no, one. No, no. Mentor day. Let's Elijah. get Elijah. Elijah. To Elijah. I never even heard you. Peggy. Angelica. Eliza. And Peggy. <laughs> I've never even heard you say this this name. Elisha. Oh, no. Elijah no, to Elisha. No. Who was Jesus a mentor to? The apostles. Trick question to us all. Oh. To me right now. To you right now. I didn't you didn't if you if you weren't an apostle or or if you weren't on on the hillside, you didn't lose your chance. Right now, he can mentor you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's a, he's a mentor I know, to us all. You just reminded all. me cuz yeah. you're my mentor. Mhm. And I'm Frank's and, f- and it stops there. He doesn't mentor anyone. Nah, he's a. He's a oh, I'm starting to think he's a waste of space. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's looking for a job, I don't know. Frank might not be here much longer. If you can stand still, he, that's we'll, the the whole job requirement. Oh, uh, how cool would that be if we get big enough and power hungry enough that we replace Frank? But the only thing is you can't say a word. And you have to stay very still. Right. And we switch our format from thirty minutes to two hours. But the first hour and a half. We're not in the shot. <laughs> yeah. He just has to stand there. So like when people are checking it, you know, and it's like, yeah. it's, you know, the show's going to start. And if you move even the slightest, you get fired. People comment. Yeah. Tell on you. Not even just fired. Like shame. You get shamed across town. What kind of show would that? What show is that where the people would actually tattletale? I, I feel like know. it's one of those Squidward. I keep saying Squidward. Squidward. I keep saying Squidward. Have you guys watched that new Korean show called Squidward? I keep saying Squidward when I mean Squid Games. Don't you tell on each other in that show? No. No? I thought... Mm-mm. I keep seeing a meme where, like, they're not moving. And it's like... I thought you would try to, like, get your buddy to move. No. It was, it's a game uh, of red light, green light. You've played oh, red light, green yeah, light. Yeah, yeah. Uh, You're just all, focused on yourself. Yeah, but, like, you know, I think yeah, in that scene you're talking about, there was a little am- animosity between two characters. And okay. so it was trying to be like, okay, um, how about you move and die? Um, but anyway, guys, enough chitter chatter. He'd be great at red light, green light. He'd be great at the red light part. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> we could pull him. <laughs> we could pull him for green light. Okay. Um, as you guys know, it is Wednesday. Yeah. What you may not know is what we do on one word. Wait, one word. <laughs> What we do on Wednesdays, we have a little thing called One Word Wednesday. Now, by context clues, you can probably figure that out. But if you don't understand context clues, I'll explain it to you. We pick a word and we try to find some significance in that word because every object, idea, thing in life has significance. And on this podcast, we talk about the spiritual significance or the spiritual metaphors. Because I feel like a lot of times we say significance and Everything's significant. Everything's significant, but um, a lot of things we use in life more, more or for, I guess, to get significance mm-hmm. is by using it as a metaphor for the, the, those things that can't be explained on earthly terms. Right. I'm a big uh, metaphor guy. Mm-hmm. What's the uh, What's the other one? There's a metaphor and there's a what? Simile. Isn't a sim- we live in a simulation. So, yeah, so that's what we do today. We always pick something at random. If you haven't seen our other ones, we've done, at this point, probably 52. I think that was one of the earliest things we started was the One Word Wednesdays. Yeah. So. I'm going to, um, every time I say that, but I am going to list them out because uh, we could be repeating without even knowing it. You know what? But guess what? Every time we speak about something a little bit different, you know, like Pete, perspective. Pete and repeat. I'm Pete. This is repeat. So, um. What is the word? The word for today is lifetime. Lifetime. Like the channel? The movies? Lifetime movies? That is a a cable channel. channel. You're correct. It's a Hallmark movie, Lifetime channel. Lifetime is a movie channel, a cable channel. I forgot. Yeah. -hmm. Yeah. But no. No, we're not talking about the Lifetime network. We could. Nah, I don't even know what's on it. It could be about the song. 
Mm, don't know the song. Sure you do. Um, some people wait a lifetime for this moment like this. Some people. I think I'm singing it wrong, but they play it on all R and B channels. Poignant. No, I think it's Kelly Clarkson. Never heard of her. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. Gen Z. They probably do it for I like the Olympics. I songs like, caught a vibe. You know that song? Well, if we were- That's it, the Young Smith. If the word was- You were probably alive when she wasn't. When she was born. Well then, um, I've Willow? been alive for her whole lifetime. But she hasn't been alive for my whole lifetime. Now what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, lifetime. So what do you want to talk about? about well, lifetimes? what I just said. What is a lifetime? So her lifetime is only- How old is she? I'm going, to, I'm going to go off on a limb here and say she's 21. All right. So her a lifetime has been 21 years. You can't say you haven't lived a lifetime. She has. Mm. Uh, someone who's 99. You know, my question is, is this, guys. And I guess it goes with what you're saying. You ever see someone win a contest or something and you get a lifetime supply of beef jerky? What is a lifetime supply? I always supply? wanted to win something like that. Is that like one pack a day for the rest of your life? Is that, you know, the average life span is 75 years? Thank you ask, Thank you for asking. And I'll tell you. Oh. Um, there's also something called a lifetime warranty. Hmm. So if you bought this microphone and they said, buy this microphone as a lifetime warranty, you might think, awesome. For the rest of my life, I'll have a microphone. The rest of my life, I'll have a microphone. Yes. Okay, now if you stop and think about that for a minute, it's like, wait, that probably doesn't make sense because what if the company goes out of business? Mm. Or what if I want it replaced and this doesn't even, the, the company exists, but the microphone doesn't. Little known fact, there is no definition in legally for products or um, contests like you just talked about. You get to make up what a lifetime is. So you can say the lifetime of the the piece of, of a good work in microphone yeah the lifetime of obviously of the company the life you just can make stuff up wow so so it, some would say a no, lifetime trick. is suggestive it Wait, is suggestive subjective subjective suggestive oh uh, right right <laughs> i know what you meant a lifetime is subjective huh. it is so i'm gonna say if you're thinking about a lot people's human life expectancy um, you know, it wouldn't even be expectancy. It would be actual. So if, 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 um, God forbid a baby died, he lived his, uh, he lived a lifetime. He well, lived. That brings up the question of the, of lifetime, right? Like, yeah, I don't even have a question, but I always wonder about the babies in their lifetimes. You know, did they like, like, what's the point of being on earth? Riddle me that. What's the point? <laughs> This is where it ends. Yeah. It's been. Hey guys. <laughs> it's felt like a lifetime. Um, I've lived my lifetime. Everything is meant to be. And so <clears throat> um, the person who we, we talked about before, in, I believe in the Buddhist, if you live to be 80, they will celebrate you because they feel like you have lived your full lifetime. You've lived your that's lifetime. That's sort of where my question is going. But that's not necessarily true. It's not. But what is the purpose of life? If, what is the meaning of life? <laughs> if, if you. If you don't question what we all consider to be true, you will never push to new heights. That's our Instagram um, story for the day. Croak and crow. What is the purpose of Orville life? Orville Wright. The purpose of the life is to live it and to okay. and to know God on earth and to be reunited with him. So it's, so it's my question. It's a, it's a um, trip. It's a trip. You took a journey. You took a um, what's yes. the purpose of a road trip? Exactly. And so what happens if your car, if your tire pops five miles from your house? Did you take the trip? Yes. You, that's, an, that you could, we talked about that. Remember when we were talking about adventure one, I think that might've been the word adventure. And we were saying for one person, adventure is Mount Everest for the next person. Adventure is going to get the mail. Yes. So never feel bad that someone didn't live their lifetime. They lived the lifetime that was their lifetime. I don't know. They're not, they're not, they're not cheated or shorted. Um, and you could live 100 years and feel not accomplished and mm. and some a baby could be born and and be born stillborn and affect so many people that they had an impact so 
I think something a little more controversial. Controversial Wednesday. Controversial I'm, Wednesday. I'm here for it. Yeah, you know, because because you're it's the second year. You're saying something that I I hear a lot. Yeah. And so I don't. It'll, so it'll be spoken. It'll be for some people. And so I don't necessarily agree with it. Okay. What you just said is, um, that you know a baby, a stillborn baby, yeah, or let's just say a baby that's born with complications mm-hmm. passes away, and they affected other people. And if and if that term is not is no longer in use. So be it. We don't know. So be it. We literally locked in this basement for the past year. <laughs> like we, I don't know what's happening outside. Of don't what, forget what you were going to say. I won't, because it's been on my mind, and I haven't come to a, a hard conclusion, especially not one based in, around Christianity. But I'm a Christian, and so I can have beliefs and thoughts, and we can have a conversation. The purpose of a lifetime, through a spiritual lens, for me, is for a it's for personal choices. And growth, yeah, and um, you know, living your earthly life and being able to be in this world that was created by God, experience, and have life mm-hmm. experiences and choose the, your path. Mm-hmm. So, a lot of people they come up to me and they talk about kids, and they're like, "Don't worry." Like, I'm, and when I say kids, I'm I'm saying before you can make a decision for yourself. So this is young. Okay. I'm because like what you were saying. I agree. Like, I, I have. I don't. I, none of this is set in, set in stone because I have no idea what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about. We're just talking it through. I'm talking. I'm talking it through. Um, if someone doesn't even get to live a small lifetime, yeah, and and they don't even get to have sensory observations of the world because that comes when you're what, like three. Yeah, you have to just get to know everybody. <laughs> then you you never got to make your own choice, right? And mm-hmm. so. My question is this. This is all question, right? This is what we're meant to do as Christians. We're not supposed to be... be, I I think an important thing, and you don't see it enough in in people that are speaking, is asking questions. Right. Everyone... So you, whenever you talk to somebody, they have the answer. They're Mm -hmm. like, well, this is what happens. Mm -hmm. You can see it right here. And it's like, there's not enough room for questions, which are... Questions are healthy. You know? With a parent, when you're a kid and you're being told what to do, are you... Like, you're not going to question them. Questioning is different. Being like... Well, why do I have to go right. to bed? But you can Debate ask. Debate with them, yeah. But 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 be having a a curiosity, yeah, a curiosity. Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with that, and then that's how you grow. It's like right. That's when you start to learn. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. For so long, I was just told to go to bed on time. Now I understand. Um, I need my eight hours of sleep. Got to wake up early. Right. So back to what I was saying. These kids were talking about. They didn't get to live a lifetime they didn't get to have any life experience right why would they like why 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 so where let me let me do this backwards what do we do we think souls are created right before like do you think they're created as they're born or do you think they're souls and then they are put into a i don't know don't even answer that question Food for thought. Food for thought. I guess what I'm trying to get at is this, is what would be the point of life? Why are we even on earth if in some cases we don't even need to be on earth and go to the great ever afting life, which is heaven? Right. If that's the case, then like, like, why, are, why are you and I going through our daily struggles when it was like, well, none of this was necessary? All you, all you had to do was get out early and, right. and, you, and you would have been up there. And so personally, thank God, all knowing, all powerful, has a plan for everybody, right. knows, knows everybody's life. And I am not against the idea, don't cancel me, Christians, of that soul like still getting to experience life in a different vessel. Yeah. Because Be, like, before they got their life experiences... And I think there's no there's no shortcut to heaven. And no, I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't mean that in a there's no shortcut to heaven. You got to do your due diligence. Mm-hmm. But I think life is a beautiful thing and a, a thing that is necessary to get to heaven. And so I, I think every soul gets to experience that. And they're not confined to. We, we always say this flesh doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. I truly believe not getting dark here, but if I if I was born with a heart outside my body, I personally believe I would be born in a different family, 
to get my life experiences to go to heaven. Right. That's what I think. I I I I um I like your opinion. Um and I and I I I will go along with your opinion. Um I feel that this isn't exactly what you said, but this is I'm adding to it. This is what my opinion is that I feel that God loves us and God lets us have free will even before we're born. So mm-hmm. it's a known fact we have free will on earth, but I feel we have free will before we're born. Yeah. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I feel that we choose our challenges before we're born. Okay. Okay. And so when I hear people say like, I didn't ask to be born and I never wanted to be here. And I feel that you did. Mm. You knew ahead. You, 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 um, you know, you picked your cruise. You were like, oh, wow, this is going to happen. And I want to be challenged by that. I want to, I want to try to do it. Um, I feel that you can go again. Mm-hmm. Um, if like what you just said, if, if, um, you took the one journey, you want to take the next journey, I think you can. And I also want to say this, um, I believe Jesus, somebody somewhere in the Bible they said great, no greater love than to give up your life for, um, a friend, mm-hmm. a, a loved one. I believe that's the Bible. Um, people are always wondering what it means, what it means. And they talk about soldiers and so forth. Yeah. But I, I have an opinion okay. that if you if you are of um a ch- you're choosing where to go are you willing to give up your life for a friend so say i will come into this world and i will be willing to be the baby born with the heart outside of him in in the whole scheme the whole the whole network the whole um tapestry of life because that is going to affect all the people around and what they will do and so forth so i didn't like you just said i don't feel that it's very like um you're a victim and you, you your life got cut off. I think you knew you were going to only be there for 20 minutes or 20 days or 20 months. So therefore you chose that you were always you were never alone, you were never blindsided mm-hmm. and um so forth. Yeah. Food for thought, but we're running out of time, not too much time, I'm still talking. But back to lifetimes, I think an important thing, we're talking about small lifetimes. Right. There are semi there's are there's semi small lifetimes there's medium lifetimes there's decent lifetimes long extra long right the point is the default usually is long because you'll say like i've been waiting a lifetime but that's the thing <laughs> i think the thing is that there isn't a default okay and what does it say in the bible you will not know the time nor right, the hour right right and so i think a lot of people are waiting around you know in their spiritual journey and they're saying well i have a whole lifetime to read the Bible. Oh yeah. I have a whole lifetime to get my life together and start um you know both on earth level so I can start doing this. Right. Take that job. Travel here. But then on on a spiritual level especially a spiritual level I want to say cuz a lot of people don't associate young life with the spiritual life. You know you see you go to a church right now who's going to be there. So all people that are like, "Whoa, I've actually lived my lifetime." Right. I want to start thinking about what comes next. Right. But nobody knows what a lifetime is. Yeah, it's each un- one is individual. A, life- a lifetime is undefined. And so no matter how old you are, if you're watching this and you're six years old, you live your life to the fullest ability. If you're 90 years old, you keep on living because you know, people are living to 100 and like 15 years. Yeah, you can, you can believe it. It could happen. Um, the Bible has lifetime in the new international version there was 17 entries i think mm-hmm. but i just pulled the one which is psalm 30 psalm 30 probably by david like verse five guy. for his anger lasts only a moment but his favor lasts a lifetime weeping may stay for the night but rejoicing comes in the morning and ain't that sweet so i guess you know just go out and, and you know, you know live every day I don't want to say like it's your like I don't even like no I feel about that live every day like your last because it's that's funny because people say live every day like it's your last and like also you can start over every day yeah so it's funny yeah it's like you're never too old yeah live every day like your last you can start over um yeah but no just you know we 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 don't know and so try to end every day filling up your life as much as you can because a lifetime's undefined but what's not undefined is how much you can experience in that lifetime. Can I get an amen? Amen. And if anyone thinks what I said earlier was controversial, we'll talk about it in a later podcast.
where I'll really dive in. You think that was controversial? You wait till next week. My hat's off today. That's what happens when my hat's off. Yeah. I'm all over the place. <laughs> I am out of the box. Goodbye. No, See you no tomorrow count. for Walkthrough Thursday. Peace. Were you saying something else? No. Peace.